Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sunkiss and this is Sunkiss Sir. If you're new to my channel, I want to personally welcome you to Sunkiss Serves. I'm Sunkiss once again. And I am so excited that you've decided to join Sunkiss Nation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. And if you've been rocking with Sunkiss Serves all this while and you are a subscriber, hey, welcome back to the channel. We're going to jump straight into today's morning inspiration because it's Monday. So stay tuned. And side note, I have noticed that in my last few morning inspiration videos, I've been saying morning inspiration incorrectly. It is morning inspiration. It is not morning inspiration. And this is no bueno because I am the creator of morning inspiration. So forgive me. We are going to hop straight into morning inspiration. Morning inspiration. Yes, morning inspiration. Let's get it. Today's morning inspiration will be centered on the topic of peace. Now let's take five seconds and just, did you hear that? Peace and quiet. In scripture, in the book of John chapter 14, verse 27, it says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. I was talking to a friend earlier this week and he made a very profound statement. We should never allow anything or anyone to disrupt the peace that we have. When we look in the scripture that we just read, we notice that there are two levels or two types of peace. There is peace that the world gives and there is peace that God gives. Peace that God gives transcends any situation or anything you find yourself in. It is not shaken. It is not moved. It is long lasting. And as the word of God puts it, peace, which transcends all understanding, is the calmness and the harmony of your mind, your body, and your spirit, which supersedes any earthly circumstance you may find yourself in. Many people in our world today do not have true inner peace because they do not know God. They do not know Jesus to know Jesus is to know peace. Know Jesus means no peace. I used to see that on shirts and bumper stickers and what have you. And it is so true. To know Jesus is to know true internal peace. When your spirit, when your mind, when your body is at harmony, is at calmness, you have that peace. It's something different. It's something unique. Whatever circumstance may come your way, it may make you unhappy. You may have like waverings in your happiness, but the peace of God, once you have Jesus, that peace of God should never depart from you. And you know that peace is something that is very, very important because it is one of the fruits of the spirit. Now, the fruits of the spirit are love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And that can be found in Galatians chapter 5. And one of the ways to truly have this peace is to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Once you accept Jesus into your life, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of you. And when the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of you, there's a peace, there's a harmony, there's a calmness that comes along with having him in your heart. And I'm sure many of you that have come to Christ can attest to the difference when you were an unbeliever, when you didn't have the Holy Spirit inside of you. Now seeing the Holy Spirit at work in your life, you feel that true inner peace. And the most lovely thing about this peace from God is that it is ready and available to any person that desires it. All you need to do is ask Jesus to come into your life. You don't have to do anything drawn out or elaborate. You just have to say a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. I know that I have fallen short, oh God, but your grace is enough for me today. And I ask you 
to come into my heart. Come and change and transform me. And now, Lord, I will be regarded as a son, as a daughter of the Most High God. If you said a simple prayer along those lines and ask God to come into your life, he will transform. He will do a 360 plus a 180 plus another 360. That's how big of a deal God is. And trust me, there is nobody that has bumped into the presence of God and has left the very same. And trust me, take a bet. I bet my life on it that when he comes into your life, you will never be the same. And if you are a Christian and you're noticing that your peace, your internal peace is reducing or it's waning or it's decreasing, take it to God in prayer. You know, sometimes as Christians, we tend to only take our bigger issues or our bigger situations to God because we think that he shouldn't be bothered with the smaller things, as we call it, that we are going through. But please never have that mindset. God is concerned about every little thing that concerns you. The word says that we should cast our burdens onto him for he cares for us. And that is a bet. He really loves us. He really cares for us. Anything that concerns you, no matter how small you think it is, take it to him in prayer and ask that he gives you the peace from on high, the peace that the world doesn't give, the peace that is long lasting, the peace that only God can give. I hope you enjoyed today's morning inspiration on peace. Remember that peace that we get from God is unmatched. If you have the privilege and the opportunity to know Jesus, this peace that he gives you is something that cannot be compared to anything else. And this morning inspiration came straight from the heart because I have experienced this peace and there is no reason that anybody on this earth shouldn't experience the peace that God gives, not the one that the world gives. This is going to be a great week. Thank you for tuning in into Morning Inspiration on Sunkiss Serves. I pray that the blessings of God will follow you this week, your family, your loved ones, and your friends. Until next time, see you in my next video. Sunkiss out.